prevention, right? So anytime you're in half guard and you're worried about the lockdown, all I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take my foot underneath my own butt. So if you guys come behind me here, you can see where my foot is. Because so, if I leave my foot next to his legs, you can go for it. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll take my foot and hide it under my butt, and I sit down on my foot. So now when he looks for the lockdown, it's not there, right? Because my foot is not there, my foot is way over here. And all I'm doing is I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting like this, which most people can do anyway. So I'm just sitting here, and just, just nice and comfortable, right? So, from here I get my foot under my butt and I sit down. And now from here, I can either cross face, rotate my hip, keep my head down, I'm on my toes, I can block his knee. So even if he brings his enemy, I can, I can bridge and flatten him back down, right? If I have to. Now I'm here, now I can whip my right leg out. Come up to side control. That's one way to prevent it. Another way to prevent it is you can sit and underhook this leg like this. See, I'm underhooking. Rotate my hip in the same thing. So you can either underhook the leg or you can grab the pants or block the knee. Um, another option is you go to combat base on the leg that's stuck in half guard and take your foot underneath his butt. Then your leg will be safe. So I'm here. Uh, I'm in half guard. I take my. I go to combat base. I get my foot underneath this bus, okay? Now from here, I can either drive my knee over to three quarter mount, like this, or I can underhook and slide past his guard, or if he's on his side, and, and, and if I underhook and he pummels and underhooks again, I, I'm not gonna be able to pass yet, because if, if I pass and I slide from here, he's gonna take my back, all right? So I have to have one or two things, either either when my leg is here, I, and, and he's, you know, he's got my foot, I either have to underhook, or if I can't get the underhook or he keeps pummeling, I, I have to drop my elbow past his hip right here. And I can grab his gi if I have to. And now from here, I can pull this sleeve up. Now I can use my foot to push on his leg and get my leg free. So he's, he's got my foot stuck in between his thighs. I can slide my knee down as I push with my, my free leg and keep sliding to get out. If that's not working, you can also drive your leg over to three quarter mount and that's, that becomes your first hook, okay? And, and if you wanna take his back, if you don't wanna take his back, you drive over to three quarter mount, use your instep on your free leg inside, pry his thighs open and go to mount, or you can, if he keeps this, you can shove his arm over, slide your knee to the back of his head, seat belt, roll to your butt, and that's, that's just some basic stuff. So now you guys know the uh, prevention, right? How to prevent from getting stuck in the, uh, you know, in the lockdown, because if I leave my leg trailing like this, he, he can lock me down. Now my foot is stuck. If that happens, now you have to escape. And one of the ways to escape is I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, bring my knee on the mat, bury my knee into the mat, and then I lift my heel to my butt and whip my foot out, and I lean forward like this. I'm here, whip my foot out. So I scorpion tail my foot, rotate, push, get my leg out. If I scorpion tail my foot out and then he follows me and locks me down on the other side, now I bring my knee up, uh, heel, heel to my butt, scorpion tail my leg on the other side out. So now I can slide my foot up and then I can start going to mount or pass side control. Um, if those aren't working for you, like let's say he's got like a death grip with his lockdown and I keep trying to scorpion tail my foot out but I can't get it free. I'll cross face, I, I sprawl, I get my toes touching the mat, like this, see my toes are touching the mat, now I stretch my leg as straight as I can, and now I can get my foot, this foot, to push off, and break that seal, break that grip. Does that make sense, everybody? All right guys, let's try it, one, two.